Good morning! <laughs> we are back today with your workout. Obviously, we look a little bit different than usual. So let me explain. We are working on a bigger project for you guys, something that'll be a little bit more engaging with the workouts. Uh, so we haven't had as much time to work on the daily workout videos or three days a week. So we're taking this week and providing you guys your workouts in a little bit different format. So it's really, if you want to sum it up simply, it's, it's a written workout. So we're going to recap the workout here, explain it in depth like we would at the start of any of the other videos. But then we're going to give you guys a graphic that you can refer to to actually do your whole workout. Now they're going to be similar in terms of the amount of equipment you need and it's still going to be right around 20 to 30 minutes of a workout. Um, we're hoping that this is a good substitution for the week and gives us a little bit of time to finish this bigger program we have for you. So make sure that you are tuned into the social media and we'll obviously announce it here on YouTube too, but um, stay connected with us so you guys can get in on our new project next week. Um, so today's workout, it is called an even odd workout. So the simplest way I can explain it is that you've got six sets of two exercises, all right? Each set of two exercises, you're gonna do five rounds of. It probably sounds like a lot. It's not. It's, but it's not. Don't it's gonna go fast, all right? <laughs> so the element that is the curveball is that every round is like a pyramid. So every round you go up higher in reps. You're not doing the same round, same reps every round. So what we're gonna put up on the screen now will be an image of what the workout is. So it'll give you an idea of what your what the exercises are, what each superset is, and then what your rep counts would be, okay? So take a look, study it closely, and then we'll come right back and give you more information. Okay, so now that you guys have had an opportunity to look at that graphic, I want to give you just a little bit more explanation. Hopefully you saw that the exercises were things that we've done a hundred times over in our videos. So for example, the first exercise, a reverse lunge, I'm hoping you all were like, oh, easy, I got that, no problem. Um, even all the way down to something like a step up. So equipment, you're gonna want either dumbbells or some form of resistance a box or a bench or a couch, something you can step up on, um, and then really just open space because so, we're going to be down on the floor and standing up. Um, okay, but let's go back to why it's called an even odd workout and what all those numbers on the screen meant. So even odd means that the first exercise in your set, you do the even numbers counting from zero to 10. And if you, the second exercise, you do the odd numbers counting from one to nine, basically, right? So the first round, you would do two reverse lunges, two on each leg. Then you would go to the floor, or then you would grab your weights and you would do one bent over row. Then you'd go back to reverse lunges and you'd do four on each leg, and you'd do three bent over rows. And then continue six reverse lunges on each leg, five bent over rows, until you finish out the set, ending at 10 on reverse lunges and nine on the bent over row. So each round, each round within the set is gonna take a little bit more time, but it's, it's a slow build up, which is a nice introduction to the exercise, and you really will, by the end, have done a lot of reps on everything. So we suggest you hold weight on your reverse lunges. We suggest you obviously hold weight on the bent over rows. Um, give yourself a little bit of a challenge. Jane's yawning, <laughs> I'm boring her. Hopefully I'm not boring you. No. Uh, but, so, ho I hope that makes sense. So you're gonna want to take the graphic that we have, find out how you can get it down in the description, um, or you can always pause your screen, uh, the video on the actual graphic, and you can just stay right here and cruise through your workout. If you want to give yourself a little bit of time parameter, no set should take you more than five minutes. That ensures that you're done in 30 minutes total for six rounds. Um, I would encourage you to try to go faster than that, right? To try to get done in less than 30 minutes with breaks in between each set. Um, remember, quality over quantity and have fun. So we'll put that graphic back up now so you can take one more look at it, pause the screen if you want, or go to our description and 
get a, a graphic that you can use. Have a great day. Have a good workout.